shout out to Ella, Mariah, Tonya, Vicky, Linda, and everybody doing the August workout schedule. I'm so proud of all of you. Let's get started. Welcome to this upper body workout. We're doing arms, we're doing upper back, we're doing lower back, and we're doing chest today. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get into it. First warm up is swing and squat. You're gonna go into a deep squat, keep your abs engaged, and just swing your arms like you just don't care. Awesome, keep going. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It's totally free for you and it just means so much to me. There you go. Try to touch your shoulder blades to the back as you do this and then pretend you're trying to touch your elbows in the front as you do this as well. You don't actually have to touch your elbows in the front, but just do the motion. Let's go. Here's a preview of our first move, tricep chops. On the right, I have a dumbbell in my hand. On the left, I do not have a dumbbell. Pick the level that fits your fitness level. I will not be using any dumbbells in this workout. I'm living my best life today. Let's go. Good. I always say this in my videos that have 45 seconds on the timer, just because it's 45 seconds doesn't mean you have to work the entire 45 seconds, it just means you have to do your best in those 45 seconds. Keep your abs engaged, do a slight lunge to the side, and just hammer it down. You got this. Let's get those arms and that back looking like a full meal. Just a couple more. You're doing it, yes, you're getting it. Good, good, good. Next up, we're going to do a raise to fly. You're going to hinge at your waist. If you have dumbbells and you want to use them, do the version on the right. I will be doing the version on the left. Abs are engaged, back is flat, and your shoulders and arms are doing almost all the work. There you go. This is so good, so good for your back, so good for your arms. Just make sure your abs are engaged and you just try to stay steady the whole time. Really squeeze those muscles. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're doing good. Keep going. This is so good. Just a few more seconds. Just a few more seconds. Don't worry about it. Don't even think about it. Just keep moving. This is good. This is good. Sweet. Next up, we have the Arnold Press. You're going to clap your elbows together and then raise to the top. Again, if you have dumbbells, you can do the version on the right. Otherwise, you can do the version on the left. Pick what fits your fitness level. I'm going to be dumbbell free today. Let's go. I know a lot of people are worried about getting bulky when you use weights and I know I have even said to a lot of women that, oh, don't worry about it. But I just want to clarify for you that if you use dumbbells that are not crazy heavy, uh, you will not get bulky. You will only get bulky if you start lifting 50, 60 pounds with your dumbbells and you are doing it consistently over time. But for these types of exercises where it's just a few seconds and the weights are not super duper heavy, you are not going to get bulky. You're just going to be toned and strong and feeling good. Just a couple more. I just want to put your mind at rest. Don't worry. I got you. I'm not going to have you out here looking like Hulk. I'm not going to do that to you. Hinge side rotation. Abs are engaged and you just raise one arm at a time. If you have dumbbells, you can hold on to them. Otherwise, just follow my lead on the left. Ready? Let's get into it. Hallelujah! That's what it looks like I'm saying. <laughs> After this, you have two more moves. Two more moves and you get a break. Can you even believe that? It's almost time for a break. And it feels like we just started. You're doing amazing. Keep going. Just do your best. That's all you could do, right? That's literally the only thing you can do. You're doing great. You're really good at this. This looks good. 
let's go let's go keep those abs engaged awesome sumo arm lift you're gonna put your feet nice and wide and just do this nice motion if you have dumbbells you want to do the version on the right if you do not have dumbbells you want to do the version I'm doing on the left there you go that's good if that slight sumo bend in the knee is bothering you, you can just stand up straight and do the same movement. Otherwise, I encourage you to do the full thing with the sumo with your legs wide and that slight squat. It just gets you more work in the same amount of time. It's all about efficiency. Good. You're doing great. You're doing really, really great. One more exercise and it's time for a break. Can you believe it? You're doing amazing. Keep going. Just a few more. There you go. Okay, row to pull down. If you have weights, you're doing the version on the right. If you do not have weights, you're doing the version on the left. I wish this move was called the caveman move because that's what I feel like when I'm doing this. Like Hulk, Hulk pull. See, see that? <laughs> Doesn't that make you feel like a caveman? <laughs> Awesome, just do your best, do your best. This is great for your arms and your back. Fantastic exercise, and after this you get a break. Imagine that. Keep going. You made it. That was amazing. We're going to keep this short and sweet right here for YouTube. But if you want the full version of this workout, an easy workout schedule you can follow every single day and access to all sorts of workout programs from me, visit my website at kabokofitness.com and follow the easy directions on the homepage. Just follow your own body. When you're ready, you're just going to gently roll up. Finally, I want you to put that slide bent in your knee. Give yourself a huge hug. I just want to remind you that that was not an easy thing to do, but you did it, you pushed through, and that is just amazing. You worked out today, and that is a big deal. You have a lot to offer this world, and you're getting there, one workout at a time. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in my next workout video.